Uh. Grub lovers, who ready to get their grub on? You know that I am. It's your boy, Mr. Grub, back again with another video for you guys. And today, I am headed to a new Colombian restaurant called La Pasita. I think I'm saying that right, okay? I'm going to head over there because I heard they have some amazing empanadas. Uh, I haven't tried any of those, but uh, I've heard they're really delicious. So, I'm going to head over there and let you guys know about it. Let you guys uh, see me try it out and put them to the test because what? That's what I do. So let's head over there now, guys, and check them out. I'll get back with you guys in a bit. It's your boy, Mr. Grub. Okay, guys, so... I went ahead and got the chicken empanadas. Uh, got me a few of them. Uh, and they're not expensive at all. They're like $1.25 each. So uh, I went ahead and got those. I'm going to let you guys see uh, what one of them looks like. So what they do is they fry. They put the chicken inside. They fry it on the outside. Uh, it smells delicious. Just walking into the restaurant itself smells delicious. Uh, so if you guys are ever in Port St. Lucie, man, check out La, La Pasita uh, in Port St. Lucie for some of the best Colombian dishes, okay? So I'm going to get in on this. It's really hot, though, so y'all got to bear with me if I kind of come off a little crazy. After the immediate crunch, you taste all the chicken. And it's seasoned to perfection. And it's super hot. And it's made super fresh when you get there. Ooh. Ooh. Looking for a great food on the go, man. Check out La Pasita. Port St. Lucie, get you some empanadas. They're great to take on the go. Got your little bag. Take them with you, man. And go about your day. They super hot, man. Yeah. It wouldn't be right if I didn't have my little hot sauce. Now see, I told y'all, it's different when you go to a Hispanic restaurant than when you go to an American restaurant. They give you that bottle hot sauce in, in the American restaurant. You go to the Hispanic ones, you get the real peppers, and it's just real hot sauce. You know, check that out. See that? If you saw this sitting on the counter, you wouldn't even know it was hot sauce. I'm telling you, man. So shout out to La Pasita for hooking me up. You guys gotta try the empanadas. Uh, some of you may have. If you haven't, definitely try it out, man. Uh, they're really delicious. And like I said, they're a great food to, to have on the go. almost tastes like having a whole meal in one like eating the rice with chicken and like fried yuca or something like that it's kind of like the taste of one I like that and it seasoned very well you know they seasoned the chicken 
as well as the shell that they put it in. Ooh. Tell you, if I wasn't hungry right now, I would let this sit, man, because it's so hot. <laughs> But I'm, I'm willing to take those 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 hot things right now. Speaking of hot pain, how was everybody Valentine's yesterday? It's, 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 let me tell you the thing that I've noticed about Valentine's, and it could just be the demographic, like where I'm from and stuff like that, what I've seen. Um. So on Valentine's Day packed restaurants you see uh, empty empty stores because like all of the candy and stuff is gone right um, and you see a, a, a lot of couples together you know what I mean I don't care where you at you go to wash your car it's couples together I never so see so many couples together except on Valentine's Day Excuse me. Let me tell you what I see the day after Valentine's. Crazy. Everybody, that, that's just that's how it is. You know what I mean? It's like you do so much. It kind of reminds me of Christmas, right? The only difference with Christmas is that it lasts a little bit longer. Uh, but it's, it's similar in fashion. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like it comes by and goes away so fast. Halloween is a perfect example. Um, leading up to it, you know, you see everybody in the store. It's the day of Halloween. You see everybody together. You see everybody with their kids. The day after, you don't see none of that. So with Valentine's, like, this is the day after Valentine's Day. You don't see, uh, you know, uh, all of the people together anymore. But what you do see, and like I said, it could be because of the area that I'm used to, you know, being in or being, or being around. You see uh, a lot of people with cars with the boat still on it and I'm gonna tell you that's the funniest thing to me it's not only the funniest thing to me but it's the pettiest thing to me that you could ever do it's also probably one of the ghettoest things you could do too please tell me people why after we get a gift and we <laughs> like like a car you get a new car right so yeah you'll take your picture with your bow on it and everything like just to let people know it's new but the days done pass right why you still got a bow on your car? I'm like, all right, so I got a bow on my car. I took the pictures to, to, you know, put it on social media. So now I got to keep the bow on the car so when I ride around, everybody know I just got it. But I ain't get to ride everywhere yesterday, so today I'm going to keep riding see, so I can show some more people. Like, <laughs> like come on now, let, let, let's be for real. You know what I mean? People see your paper tag, they know it's a new car. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's not for you to have to feel that you need to prove that to anybody. You know what I mean? Because, I mean, it takes away from your excitement. You know what I'm saying? Like, individually, people get a new new car, new present, something like that, right? They're happy. Some might cry, whatever the case may be. But once they go trying to show everybody else what it looks like and everything like that, and how new it is, now they're focused on everybody else's excitement. You know what I'm saying? And it kind of takes away from their own moment. But again, you know, it's 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 good that people are willing to do those things uh, and willing to do whatever it takes to make people happy. You know what I'm saying? Because like I told you guys yesterday, that's what it's about, right? It's just, uh, it's about, you know, uh, furthering happiness, you know, making people happy uh, at the same time, you know, doing great things in the world, right? So shout out to you guys who went over and beyond for Valentine's Day. Um, I'm sure it was appreciated in many ways. Uh, you know, so shout out to you guys. What I will say, which is funny to me as well, is uh, you don't see a lot of guys talk about what they got for Valentine's Day. And I'm going to tell you, it's funny because back in the days, you know, guys didn't want nothing for Valentine's Day. It was the women's holiday. It was, your, you know, your girl's holiday. Now, dudes be wanting stuff for Valentine's Day. The crazy thing is, dudes still 
won't show it though because they kind of feel like oh man you know it might not be you know manly for me to show my valentine you know? uh, but when i tell you if dudes act like they ain't get it they lie everybody got a valentine gift i don't care what it is Everybody gets something. I mean, unless they unless they single, then they probably get something for themselves. Like, oh, look what you know, my baby got me. About taking pictures, like, oh, you know, at dinner with babe, they be sitting there by themselves. I'll tell you the extreme that people would go to impress other people. But still be miserable. <laughs> Crazy. So, let's go with the word for the day. The word for the day is appreciation. Okay. So, regardless of. Yourself, your parents, you know, your loved one, spouse, whatever, child. Make it your business to be appreciative, okay? Because appreciation goes a long way. A lot of people go to jobs for the money. they're stuck at those jobs because they have to provide for their families but they feel underappreciated you know what I mean and a lot of jobs may tell you well we give you a check so appreciate that check that shows we appreciate you and my thing is well you give the check for me to do the job but appreciating the way I do my job or appreciating me doing more than my job or appreciating uh, me coming to work when I'm sick or when I'm hurt and I'm still there because I'm trying to do what's best for the business. Show appreciation for that. So a lot of jobs won't do that. Especially if they pay you big money, they don't have time for that. You know what I mean? Like, we give you enough money that you should feel appreciated every day or every week or every two weeks you get paid. So try not to let that uh, you know rule your, your your character you know still be appreciative still show appreciation even to those who may not appreciate you um, you know just be thankful just be grateful just you know being happy about what you have and how long you have it. you know what I mean uh, that's the biggest thing with appreciation so remember that guys shout out to La Facita the empanadas were delicious. You guys definitely get a 10 from me. Oh my gosh. Uh, if you guys are ever in Port St. Lucie, man, definitely check them out. Best Colombian restaurant I've tasted thus far. So you guys have to check them out. Um, you know, comment below if you guys know of any other Colombian restaurants to, to, you know, give me some more ideas to check out because, you know, uh, I'm all about checking out foods from, you know, different nationality backgrounds. It doesn't matter, man. Food is food, and most of it's good food. But a lot of times they use natural ingredients and whatever. So hook me up, guys. You know what I'm saying? Give me your ideas. Uh, until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell, guys, so you can get all my content as soon as it's dropped. It's your boy, Mr. Grub. I'm out.